guys, I am back and I am getting ready to make my pie crust. And a lot of you wanted me to do like some um, Thanksgiving prep videos. So that's what I'm doing. Um, I got two bowls because I got enough for two crusts in each one. So I got my sugar, my salt, and my flour. I got my shortening and I got my ice water, two bowls of ice water sitting here. And so I'm going to put my shortening in. And I got, these are going to be for my sweet potato pies. And then these pie pans are going to be for my pecan pies. So that's what that is for. I'm going to put the shortening in here. And then I'm going to um, put the, add the water and mix them up. This is one of the easy, quick and easy pie crusts. It's the sweet pie crust. Where's my measure? So what you guys baking? Oh, my husband is over there cook, cutting up um, celery and onions for my dressing. And he baked the sweet, the sweet potatoes. I love baking them because it doesn't take away from the um, flavor of them. When you boil it, it takes the flavor away. And you have to put a little bit more sugar and sweetening, um, sweet things in it when you boil it. So that's why I don't like boiling it. And I'm just showing you guys this. I'm putting um, a cup in each because it calls for, for one pie crust is two cups of flour. Two cups of flour. Oh gosh, I ain't got my eyes on it. A half a cup of ice water, a fourth teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon and a half of sugar, and um, I just double everything. I just double everything. And I'm doing the same thing with the shortening. It's only a half a cup for each pie crust since I'm doing four. So in each bowl, I'll just do two. I mean, double it in one cup in each. So that's what I'm doing. Then I'm going to mix it. I need to get me a... Um, I need to get, I want to try to see, but I want to try to see me too. I don't know how I'm going to do this. Back it up some more. Oh, I'm trying, y'all. I'm trying. Hold on. Let's see if I can put this in. Back it up some more. I'm going to help y'all see me in. Let's see what I'm doing. Let's see. Hard to see both. It is. Let's see. Y'all. I don't know what's up going on with this tripod. Looks like that's the best it's gonna get. It might be a little crooked, but yeah. So I just kind of eyeball, but I want to overdo the short. And I get this shortening from all these. And so after I do the mixing up of this, I, I will add the water and then I'll start doing it with my hand. I need to get me a pastry um, mixer, a little hand pastry mixer. I keep seeing that and I still have not gotten one. I don't know what's going on and what's taking me so long. But yeah, I'm gonna do all my pies today. So after I'm done, with this, and this sits in the refrigerator for half an hour. I'm going to, oops, I'm going to um, then mix my mixes for the sweet potato pie and do my pecan pies. I don't want to put the ice in there. You want, you want your water real cold. This helps your pies to um, be nice and firm, the crust to be nice and firm and flaky. You want to keep mixing. You may not need it all. But if you have to use it all, it's not, not an issue as well. I guess it don't matter if it's not on me, right? You can see my mouth. <laughs> you can see me talking. So you just kind of get all this together. And I'm using a fork, okay? I'm using a fork. So I'm going to be getting in there with my hand in just a minute. After I get it all incorporated. But to do four would be a lot at one time. I mean, you can. It's 
going to be some real muscle work because you got to work all that salt and everything inside this crust. Hold on one second. Alright. So, yeah, basically the pies will be done tonight. Um, the dress, and I actually think I can do that tonight and probably just put in a refrigerator and it can just go in the oven tomorrow. And that way I can just do the yams, the green beans, and the um, ham tomorrow. Everything else will be basically done. So I'm about to go in with my hands and mix it real good. This is a crust you can use for sweet potatoes, you can use it for um, apple pies, pecan pies, all type of pies. Buttermilk pies, different pies. Like this is a versatile crust. You don't have to put the sweet in there if you don't want to put the sweet in there. It's up to you. But it is a real good flaky crust. And see what's going on now. You got to see. And the water is what's going to help bring it together. But I'm trying to get it together. Uh, hold on. I'm stuck on this island. So yeah, that's what we're doing. Just my mom-in-law is coming over and just her being the kids and myself. That's it. I'm not doing that, so I'm not doing a whole bunch. But even with just us, they love the pies and they go fast. Cause I was like, you want me to make one of each? He was like, yeah, right. You're being funny. Cause you know, we go through a pie in no time. So I was like, well, I can at least do two of each. I'm not even over there with them onions and my eyes are burning. The onions got my eyes burning. So it's starting to come together like a dough. I'm gonna put the rest of the water in here. Like that. Don't want the ice. I got a little dough in here. <laughs> Don't want the ice. So that's what we're doing. Um, and that's what we're having. And my mom in law is coming over, and it's gonna be. Like I said, me hubby and kids, um, most of my family don't live here, so it's usually just me hubby, his mom, and the kids because of that, so, yeah, so you just keep mixing this until you get it nice and smooth and a nice ball. I probably shouldn't have put as much water. But you can always fix that by adding a little bit of water to your dough. I mean, a little bit of flour to your dough, which is what I'm going to do, is add a little bit of flour, because I didn't really need to put all that. This actual shortening was um, warm and like ready to go. Sometimes it's, it's really hard, so I didn't really have to use all that water. Should have just mixed a little at a time, but oh well, it's still gonna be fine because the flour can always bring it back if it's sticky. So that's what it's doing now. And then you just basically wanna see how I got it. You just wanna get it to where it's all combined and you get you a nice ball because you wanna put this ball in the refrigerator for a half an hour and I will be making everything else while this is in the refrigerator. So you see how it's not as sticky anymore. I can get all this off my hands. And I'm working the dough, working the dough. That's what I'm doing. Well, let me get these in the fridge. And um, I mean, get this one in the refrigerator. Start on that one. And then start my pies. I'll be right back. I'll, I'll tell you, since you're doing two, you need to split it in half. That way when the balls come out, They'll be ready for each pie. I need to open up that saran wrap. Okay. This is my daughter right here. Yeah, we're gonna put this in the fridge. Rip it off. Okay. Stick that on the plate. So 
basically you just do this and stick it on a plate. Ooh, 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 ooh. But it work too fast. Okay, stick it on the plate. I'm gonna work this in. This one. These two. And do it the same way. I ain't gonna bore y'all with that. We're gonna move on to the next thing. Hold on. Okay, I got my other two pie crusts ready. So she got this paper for me. And see, I didn't even use all the water with that. See it? Yeah, I was talking and not paying attention. <laughs> so I'm going to split this, work a little bit more, then split it. snapping the um green beans aren't there he's snapping those he just cut up all the onions and peppers in there my little things look all shriveled up this should be good this should be enough for two pies though like we over baked them no they soft i don't know let me get what's in it out of it right, so real quick i'm getting ready to mix up some um this is yellow cornmeal with a cornbread dressing. I'm gonna mix up basically the rest of this. Cause this is going to get bigger. I think this should be enough for that. Yeah. So this is what I have in my bowl. And you can season this or you don't have to. It's up to you. I like my dressing. Um, I, I just do it a little bit different. So all I do is just mix water with this and put it in there. I don't do no eggs or anything like that because you don't have to um, when you're making it. So that's all I'm going to do is put some um, water and some salt or whatever in here. Season a couple different seasonings and just bake it and then take it out. And then when I'm ready to do it, I'm just going to break it up at my um, smoked turkey my um, onion, celery, sage, and all that other stuff, and other seasons that I like to put in it. But I just make regular cornbread for right now. So, yep. You guys are gonna see that. <laughs> Ooh. Hold on, let me pause. You don't want it too watery. You want it as if you was making like how the consistency of Jiffy would be when you make it. So you just put water in until it gets like that. Then you could just pour it in here because like I said, it's going to rise a little bit and um, be like cornbread. So I'm getting some more warm water from the faucet and I'm just going to keep mixing it until let me see if this light gonna help any. May help a little, little bit. It just may, it's a yellow light, like so. Oh. This eats up the water, like seriously. I don't know if y'all can see, but you don't want it watery, but you want it a nice, like mud-like consistency. And like I said, you could put your salt and pepper and seasonings in it, or you could just leave it because I usually season my um, celery and onions and peppers anyways. 
so you don't necessarily have to season this and you could just bake it and like I said don't add eggs don't add anything you don't need none of that it's going to become like a cornbread consistency without all that okay add a little more water okay give me a tad bit more water like halfway because as you see this cornbread sucks up all of the liquid just that fast thank you babe it's not a lot I promise you see how when I flip it you get to see So basically, I would put my my celery, my um, thyme, and my onions. Everything will go in a in a pan, and I'll boil it so it can get nice and tender. That way, I can mix this all up with my hands um, and make create the dressing. In the um, smoked turkey next, I'm gonna boil those until the meat falls off, and I'm gonna pull the meat off and put it inside of my dressing as well and I put my salt pepper seasoning adobo lorries whatever I'm gonna put in there I put all that in at um at one time when I'm seasoning my water so yeah just showing y'all how I prep my stuff so that way tomorrow it's not a whole bunch of cooking it's just basically throwing stuff in the oven yep and this is the pan I'm using in there like this it's going to get thicker in the oven and it doesn't may not look like it but guys it is going to bake like a cornbread okay it's going to bake like a cornbread don't worry okay and just throw it in the oven like that a lot of ways to skin a cat. I'm showing you my way. So I'm going to put this in the oven on 350 and let it bake until it looks like cornbread. So, all right. Now I'm going to clean out this bowl. My big bowls are like dirty. Not dirty, but I got chicken noodle soup, which is what we had for dinner, which was leftovers from yesterday. I made homemade chicken noodle soup. Um, that's in one bowl and there's another bowl over there, but this is my next biggest bowl. So I'm going to clean this out and show you guys how I, um, get my potatoes out and get them prepared for my, um, sweet potato pie. I can't show you everything because it's a secret and I sell my pie, so I'm going to show you most of it. <laughs> All right. All right. So right here, I'm getting ready to show you, um, me prepping my stuff for my, for my dressing. To have it baked and I mean to have it ready and this is the smoked turkey that I'm using I got this from Price Right nice bunch good amount I'm gonna rinse these off rinse these off put them in this pot as well with the um, water that I'm boiling because some of these are going some of these I gotta save for my um my green beans so you gotta put as much water as you can because this will boil down so the rest of these I'll save for my green beans I like this one better I'll put this one in my green beans so I got my turkey necks for my dressing and then my onions and celery in here as well. Then I have some dried parsley from my garden. I'm just gonna crush that up and put that in there. I'm gonna get some thyme. And I'm gonna put that in there as well. It's about a good teaspoon. Then I'm gonna get this stuff right here. And I'm gonna put that in there, which is like sort of like a poultry seasoning. I'm gonna put about that much in it. 
then I'm going to add some bouillon cubes. You can add chicken or beef. I have only like two chicken left. So I'm gonna add those and then the remainder beef instead of going to the store. I'm gonna use what I have. So I'm gonna put about eight of these in here to flavor the water as well. I'm gonna put some garlic, some onion powder, adobo. You guys will see everything I'm putting in here. And this is to flavor it. I love my dressing. Flavorful. I'm also putting sage. Sage, you just can't go wrong. You cannot go wrong with the sage. So we got three. So I'm going to put five more of the beef. I want this really flavorful. And then I'm going to put about a good tablespoon or so of sage in here. That sage just does something to it. I'm going to cut it on medium. We don't want it too, too high. I have the cornbread in the oven. And I have my dough in the refrigerator. So I'm just prepping everything, getting it all together. But I'm actually going to finish the pies tonight. So we're going to go with some McCormick sage here. And I like to do a lot, so I might as well take that off and just go like that. I know this has sage in it as well, so that's why I didn't do too much. And get this stuff off my hands. <laughs> I'm gonna mix this up. Let this get that powder is it's gonna cook and start to get wet after a while. So I'm gonna let that do a stain. Let me put some seasoning in it. So I'm gonna go with some adobo. I'm gonna go with some black pepper. I'm gonna go with some lorries. Some onion powder. If you cook like I do, these are the sizes you need. Those little ones, they go too fast. They go too fast. And some chives. That gives it an extra oof. Twin. All right. So I don't want to season this too much, but I season it just enough. So let me close that. And um, because I taste it as I make it. So I can season it more once I start to mix it together. I'm, I love mixing stuff with my hands. That's what my grandfather and stepdad used to do. My mom, that's how she used to mix hers. So I always like to mix it again and then see how it um, takes from there and if I need to add more. So that's going to boil on really low. I got it on really low like a, a three. And um, let's move to the next thing that I'm doing. So all I'm doing is getting ready to open these bad boys and scoop out the stuff inside <laughs> and put them inside the bowl. That's all your girl is doing. And it may not seem like a lot, but once you start adding sugar and your butter and all that good stuff, I promise you, it the mix is going to kind of sort of double. So you don't want to cook too many. And excuse me. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God bless me. And um, have too much too much um filling for your pies. I like my pies really thick, so hold on. I had to get me a knife to get all this goodness out of this potato. One thing I never had a problem with was stringy pies. I cannot stand eating somebody pie and it's stringy. I can't. If you blend it, and I use a hand mixer. I don't have that fancy KitchenAid or anything. Maybe one day I'll get blessed with it. But if you blend it really, really good, you do not have to worry about the strings and all that other stuff in your pies. Um, it's just a matter of blending it really well. Blending it really well. This one seemed to need need a little bit more time. Don't worry about it. I'm going to mix all that up. Seems like this one still was kind of tough right here tough one it's a tough one so just 
I um have several different recipes for my um sweet potato. See how this one just came out so easy for my sweet potato pie. Um, but I will tell you one thing: I cannot make a pie without condensed milk. That that is one thing that has to be in my pie. Like I see people doing it with just sugar and stuff. I mm, I, I can taste the difference. I can tell if you had it. Just give it like a caramely creamy milky oh just i don't know it's just totally different it's totally different and you know what's funny is um like me and my mother are like sweet pie sweet potato pie kind of stores we'll go eat other people's pie and be like eh, nah it's too lemony or you know what i mean <laughs> it's funny it's so funny this one was kind of soft but it's kind of tough too but it's okay it's okay i've been working with these before but um yeah we uh I'd be like, let me taste that pie. Give me a little piece. You always say, give me a little piece because you don't want to um, offend them if you have to waste it. The way you take one little bite. I really don't want a lot. Just give me a little piece. <sighs> and then you're like, uh, mm, nah, nope. That's why I always just make my pies, even if I go somewhere because everybody ain't able. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. Everybody's not able. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm picky about that. My pies, see, I'm a sweet eater. I told you, I'm a sweet eater. So, that right there, it's like I be waiting for the sweets. I'm waiting for dinner to be over with so I can get to the sweets. My hubby is a salty eater. So, he be looking for the food. He be wanting the food to be a certain way. My baby, where's he when she go to stay tonight at people's house? She be calling me like, Mommy, Mommy, mm-mm. Mommy, I'm ready to come home. <laughs> what you cook? <laughs> I'm like, really? She's like, yeah, mommy. We keep eating out or the food may not be good. She do not like staying the night over people's house. She's like, I'm ready to come home. I want real food. My kids, we go out and we do fun stuff, but they're not kids that like to eat out like that. You know what I mean? They don't like, that's not something that they choose or would love, like to do all the time. Let me turn this camera around. Oh, I need you anyways. I need you to shred some cheese and I need you to cut some potato. But put your potato in now if you're going to do it. Don't worry about it. Yeah, so they, they ain't know about staying in other people's house and eating other people's food. Maybe we'll come back like, mom, mm -mm. Mm -mm. I was hungry. <laughs> I was hungry. So yeah, I'm gonna mash this just a little bit, just to get any some hard ones. Cause even with the mixer, they'll just flip around. Cause the mixer doesn't really get to them unless they're small or whatever. So I'm gonna mash it. Mash it a little bit. I like to put brown sugar, not regular sugar. Not regular sugar. Oh, let me move this because I remember one time I had a um, nutmeg like this and I had a sage and I messed around and put the um, sage in my pie. I was mad. <laughs> mad. I was trying to scrape it out, scoop it out without um, messing up too much of it. I was so mad, y'all. Yeah, that's all I do for that. I'm getting ready to, um, what I said I gotta do, what's something I just said I had to do? Pie. Oh, my pecan pie. I'm about to start that, so, hold on. That is boiling and it smells so good. 
So now I'm getting ready to roll out my crust and get my um, pies ready. My sweet potato stuff is already blended. Hold on one second. Okay, so my pie pans are ready. This is my new um, roller and I love it. I ordered this from on eBay. It's called the Original Kitchen Co. And it's really light, but I like this better because the one I had under the silicone it was getting rusty and one time I was rolling and I seen the rust come on my pie I almost freaked out it sealed really well there's no way water can get in it at all and so let's see if this bad boy work because I don't think I used it yet I still use my other one the last holiday so these have been in the refrigerator for 30 minutes and they are ready to be unraveled made so you just put a little bit of um, flour on the surface and then you just roll try to roll evenly so your circle come out right you know what my pies be bomb but I always be struggling sometimes with the crust <laughs> like just the way I want it to look so I have to be extra fancy in order for it to be like how I really want it to look and it's kind of irritating sometimes but it'd be good. That's the whole point. It'd be good. So I'm just going to roll these. I'm going to be getting them into the pie pan. And you don't want to roll with a lot of force. You want to just roll gently and it'll it'll move with you. You don't have to roll with too much force and you want it to stay kind of thick because then your pie will have a nice crust on, underneath it. And as you see I'm rolling in different directions so that way the circle can just get bigger and not create a oval. So that's what I'm doing. And I like to put this in there, cut the top off and then I do funky circles and stuff like that on the top of it. So that's what I'm going to do with this pie crust so you take it out and you just kind of lay it in like so like a lot see that then what I do let me get this down in there real good what I do is go and cut off the excess Cut off the excess right about here, all the way around. So I'm gonna pinch that on the top. It's just too much. You don't need all that. <laughs> Do you bake? Do you like watching people bake? Do you just like eating other people bake goods? <laughs> Let me know down below. Talk to me. Talk to me. So I was thinking I should have did this as a live, but I already went live earlier and I was like, uh, I don't want y'all to get tired of seeing me. <laughs> so I said I'll just make this a holiday prep um, so it could be for Christmas or Thanksgiving. Um, and then I have excess. And this is the thing, just going up and pinching, pinching it. I can never get this perfect. It'd just be perfect for me. <laughs> It'd be all right. Some of it is thicker. So, it's fine. My Naya is in here with me. She is shredding cheese. She just cut the actual, um, what do you call it? The potatoes or the green beans. And now she's shredding cheese for the macaroni and cheese. So, yep. Yeah. Don't have to be perfect, but that's my crust. And I like to take that and put extra stuff on top because we love crust in this family. Oh, God. Hold on, y'all. Don't we not? Yeah. Like, some people, we get mad. Like, when some people eat a piece of pie and they don't eat the crust, people like, what you doing? You messing the whole pie up. You messing it up. Hold up, homie. other one. Oh, I can set that 
right there. So I'll just take, let me set this to the side real quick. No, that, I'll be mad if that falls. Yes, I will. Hold on, I'm gonna set that right there. So I'm just gonna roll this out. Get that off of there. I'm gonna roll this out and create some something to put on the top of my coin. Yep, just, let me just do one for you guys. Mm -hmm. Nobody support the layers of it. What? Leave it. My. I could save this. I could freeze my dough. I'm tripping. This can go with some the extra from the other ones and be other dough for it. Because I already know y'all going to ask for another pie. I already know how y'all do. Perfect. Good. I ain't got to put nothing on that. Okay, so let me roll out the other one and create the other pie. Put some flour down. Finished. You finished? Yep. Thank you. That need to go in the refrigerator because I'm not making that till tomorrow. Okay. Put a um plastic bag over it. <laughs> so I'm just gonna roll this one out. Oh good, I'm so glad because I'm telling y'all these pies gonna go and they're gonna be wanting some more. So this is perfect, perfect, perfect. I can put this all together and have some extra crust. I'll put it in the refrigerator and use it when I need it because I only have four pie pans so I can't do um, more than that until one is gone. So, could y'all see? Yeah, I can't do more than that until one is gone. So this will be the extra crust. See, that's gonna create a whole nother bar. sometimes for me if I'm if I'm in the camera because <laughs> I forget I'm recording I'll be forgetting y'all I'll be forgetting and that's my other crust and I'm gonna put that pie stuff in and guys I will be back let me put the rest of this in and these are gonna go into the oven so these are getting ready to go in and I believe my cornbread is done yes it is yes it is Hold on. See? This is done. So I'm going to set that right here. And I'm going to put the pies in one at a time. I put more in that one. Hold on. Let me see something. All right. I took a little from one and put in the other there in the oven. And my cornbread is out see that's how you want it you want it to look like see how it looks you want it just like that that's what you want so i'm just gonna leave this out this only gonna have to go in the refrigerator this gonna sit out and cool and do its thing see yep and leave that right there and that is it so far i am going to do the pecan pies real quick 
and roll the doughs out for those. So let me do that. Hold on, let me get all this stuff out. Let me clean up. Okay, done with the green beans. Those are done. The potatoes and the meat will go in these um, together. Well, the meat are going first and the potatoes are going a little bit last after they season them, but that's tomorrow. Um, yeah, so I'm getting ready to roll out this um, pie crust for the pecan pie. And I got my pecans and some of my stuff here. So I'm gonna roll this out and get it in the pan and show you guys me mixing it up and getting that for the, ready for the oven. I don't know why I stopped the video. <laughs> this is the pieces from the other pies. I was like, let me use this before I use one of the other ones that's still in the refrigerator. So I'm gonna use this. Use this first. These them pieces. Oh, they had it? Oh, that the other Dollar Tree? Film on. That's weird. Now, I really, you said? Film on? Oh, that they gone, like they get them first. I get what you're saying. Okay, I'm thinking like for them to have it, period, was weird to me, but I get what you're no, saying. So they get it faster. See my pinches, y'all? <laughs> they be looking all uh, like they got issues. <laughs> my pie got issues, y'all. They don't taste like it, though. They don't taste like it. I never even try to really perfect my pinches. I don't think it would be difficult if I did. It ain't that serious to me. Because it's for my family. And they know it's good. But when I do sell them, I, I, I don't know, I tend to do it right. I do it, I do it too good, I do it too good. But they don't be perfect all the time, they don't be perfect. So that's one. I want to get one of the rolls out to do the second one. <sighs> My fidget is hitting the wall, that's what y'all keep hearing. So we're gonna move, oops, move this on over here. Turn back to me. Get this bad boy up. Little flower. With the other crust. Oh, y'all enjoying this long old video. It's like y'all in here cooking with me, right? My kids in their own world. Naya just left me, so. They ain't paying me no attention right now. And hubby is um trying to see if the projector, the Christmas projector, the outside, the batteries he bought, if they work it. Because for some reason, it came with a battery that didn't work. I don't know. Let see, you want to make sure you got a nice circle at least inside because all this stuff gonna get cut off. All this gonna get cut off. Hold on. It work right? Huh? Then go around and cut 
this off. Then it's gonna be time to make the filling. Look, see, every time I start pinching, I be getting all serious and quiet. <laughs> uh, like, I got to focus, y'all. I got to focus, y'all. All right, so let's get this filling made for this pecan pie. How you want to look? Hmm? How you want to look? It's good. Oh, look at I do. Jesus. Jesus. That's why you gotta watch when you're cooking. Look at your stove. Look at your stove. <laughs> that's over my head. Okay, that's one of my. Make sure you put um the brown sugar in there. Couldn't show y'all all my secrets. Can't show y'all all my secrets. So my pie tastes totally different from most people. <laughs> I've converted so many people that say they don't eat pecan pie. I've converted them. So many. I'm about to get it off because I don't want my eggs to start to turn into scrambled eggs. <laughs> so that's why I'm doing this off of the heat. And do this. I'm going to cut that down real low because it's time for me to add my pecan. So it's open. I like to put some whole in and crush them. Pecans are expensive, y'all. I don't know what be going on. I don't know why they so expensive. So basically, this is a two and a half cups. And I'm going to use about that much. Right there. Use my other thing. Right. 
of those are going to go in the oven. So guys, at this point, your girl is just getting ready to um, clean up my dishes. I was cleaning as I go, so that's all the stuff from the actual pecan pie because I cleaned up the stuff from the other stuff I did. Um, so I'm getting ready to clean these little bit of dishes, put those up, and I hope you guys are enjoying or enjoyed. I don't think there's nothing else I need to prep. My potatoes are cut. My daughter cut those. So my pies are going in the oven. And my turkey next is not going to go in until I should put them in. I'm going to put them in when I do the green beans tomorrow. Hold on, y'all. So basically, I'm just going to rinse these off really good. And then put water in them. Yeah, we didn't want collard greens, and we usually do seafood for Christmas. I just didn't want collard greens. I just wanted something different. I love collard greens. I could have made collard greens, but I just want something a little different. So the hubby and I decided to go with um, this concoction, which I think is pretty cool. Yep. So we will be ready for tomorrow. I'm stick some butter in here, season it up. I'm not gonna put the potatoes in until tomorrow because I don't want my potatoes mushy. You ever got some my green beans and they must potatoes is mushy? Not cool. So I'm gonna season these up and just let these sit on the stove. And I'm gonna cook these tomorrow. I'm gonna cook these tomorrow. Um, not on the stove, in the refrigerator, I'm tripping. In the refrigerator. So yeah, my ham is right here. I showed you guys this. This is a big one. That's the ham. And I like the ham with the bone in. So that's going to sit overnight. And I'm going to do that early in the morning and cook that slow inside the um, in the oven with my butter and glaze and soda concoction. So that's it for today, guys. Um, pies are going in after the sweet potatoes come out. I actually could put them in. I just took the actual racks out because my roaster that I put in my oven is it's got a high top I need to get one with a lower lid because it's like I can't put too much in there and I like to have the top to the roaster but the problem is my food don't even go up into the second level as much unless I'm doing something like a ham which I probably will need the top for tomorrow but um we'll figure it out because I usually cook the ham first and I put the macaroni in and dressing at the same time so we shall see I forgot that I had my um, mushrooms to make the gravy to go for like the dressing and stuff like that. I forgot. So I was thinking I'm done cleaning up the kitchen and all that. And I said, oh my gosh, I forgot to peel my mushrooms or well, cut my mushrooms. I'm just chopping these up because I'm going to make like a gravy, uh, mushroom gravy for my um, dressing. I love mushroom gravy on my dressing. And we all we all don't mind mushrooms, so just want them chopped up, chopped up real good. And I'll basically saute these and then just create a um, gravy with them tomorrow. But then I won't have to do all this tomorrow, so I'm getting all this prep done. Okay, done. Your girl is getting it done. These are already been rinsed. These are um, baby bellas. No, I don't think no. These aren't baby bellas. These are just portobello mushrooms from all these. Um, that's all. Because these are some big ones. I'm like, not this big old one. This ain't no baby or nothing. <laughs> I love mushrooms. I really do. You like mushrooms? If you love mushrooms, thumbs up the video. Comment below. I love mushrooms. So, yep. That's all I'm doing. And I'm done now. My pies, all of the pies are in the oven. The sweet potatoes are going to be coming out. Um... But everything else is prepped and set and ready for tomorrow. I will get up early to put my ham in the oven. Um, so that way we can at least be eating about five-ish, six-ish, six-ish, no later than that tomorrow. Um, that's my plan. Hopefully it goes as planned. Because I don't think we got nothing else to do tomorrow. So that's what I want to do is um, have food. All food done by six, no later than six. But we can eat, sit down and eat and enjoy 
our Thanksgiving meal together. So yeah. Well, all right, guys. I will talk to you guys later. I'm getting ready to go and get me something to drink and eat me some chicken noodle soup from yesterday. And that's why I made a big thing of it. Um, well, was it yesterday I made it? Yeah, yesterday. So we can eat it yesterday and today. So, yep. That's it. Those are my mushrooms, and I'm about to put them in the refrigerator. I was done, and I just whipped up some banana walnut bread. I had two bananas, and I did not want them to go to waste, so I just got done making banana bread, <laughs> and it's about to go in the oven. So that's something else as a dessert or a breakfast or whatever tomorrow, however they want to eat it, but I didn't want them bananas to go into the trash, so they made some banana bread. <laughs> But that's all I got for y'all. And um, uh, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed. And I am so tired. Yeah, it's been all day. We've been DIYing and prep and trying to get food ready for tomorrow. So, you're real tired. I will see you guys later, Gators.